Hello and welcome back into Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Happy Mail Monday. Happy Memorial Day. Hope you're all having a safe day today. Uh, having fun with family and friends as we think about those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country here in the United States. Um, you know, they gave all so we could have fun today. Um, but let's also remember them because that's the more important thing. So anyhow, hope you're having a great Monday. Had a great Memorial Day. Today we've got a couple pieces of mail. Got three pieces. We got two eBay purchases and something from Tops. I'm not going to do a specific Tops video this week because I've only got the one package, uh, but we are going to get into these other packages um, all together tonight. So we're going to start with our eBay purchases and then we'll get into our Tops. Uh, before we get started, if you like what you're seeing in this video, hit that thumb up. I'd appreciate it. It lets me know you enjoy it um, and to keep maybe doing these sorts of things. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you really like what you're seeing. I uh, would love to have you part of this growing card community. Um, leave a comment down below as to what your favorite card may be. Uh, if you've watched Mail Mondays before, you know that there's going to be a theme, likely a Chicago Cubs-centric theme, and possibly an Anthony Rizzo Chicago Cubs-specific <laughs> theme. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see what we have for today. We'll start with this first one. It feels like it's a pretty thick envelope here. There's something thick in here. Um, I'm going to be careful to keep um, personal information, mailing and all that off the screen. Yep, this is a Rizzo. Um, so let's, I'm going to pull the paperwork off screen and let's see what we have. A really cool pink Spectra Anthony Rizzo from 2018 Chronicles. Just a very nice card, super thick, nice pink Spectra. Let's see. Yeah, it's the case that's a little scuffy. The card itself is still very, very shiny. Uh, this is uh, numbered out of 75, 36, no, 38 of 75. Very nice. A little addition to the PC, the Anthony Rizzo PC. Let's check the invoice, make sure I'm not missing any important details. Um, nope, just says thank you. Uh, Kevin over at Kevin's Budget Card Breaks made the suggestion. Um, that's a really fun one to do like a cameo to see if Anthony Rizzo does cameo and see if I could get him to do an intro for my channel. Um, but unfortunately, Anthony Rizzo does not do cameo. So, wouldn't be able to get him to do that. There's a few other Cubs that do do it, um, but not Riz. So let's see what we have here. We got some, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy Chris. All right. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Okay. We got another from this year's Diamond Kings. Um, this is the artist palette. Anthony Rizzo in 2021 Diamond Kings does not have a base card, but he's got a few inserts. Um, he's got a few inserts in the set, but no base card, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but you know what? I'm not, I don't work at Panini, but this is numbered out of 99, 10 of 99. This is the artist palette. I really like this year's artist palette design. Um, I think it's just a, yeah sharp looking design just very cool nice looking card very cool again i i'm probably not like i opened a hobby box of uh, diamond kings because it's typically one of my it's usually my top five of the year um i know it doesn't hold a lot of value but i just love the design and i love that they go back to some of the um retired hall of famers and legendary players but because Rizzo doesn't have a base card, I've, and the Cubs checklist in general is pretty weak. There's a few good players in there, but um, just wasn't impressed overall with the checklist. And so I got a hobby box and a blaster or two, but that's about the extent of it. There's that blaster. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to be cherry picking the Rizzo inserts uh, this year and maybe some others. But um, as opposed to, and frankly, I've only seen it one time in the store in retail. Um, I know people in other parts of the country are having more luck than I did, but I am, but that's the way it goes. So let's see what we have from tops. We've got some tops now. Let's see 
here's our invoice. Um, then we've got a Project 70, and that's what we have tonight. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. I am going to do something. Hope, bear with me for a moment. The Tops Now cards, I should have done this. Some of those Tops Now cards, I was going to look for the print run um, on some of these cards. So give me a second. So I'm going to look at the checklist and see if I can find the um, print run on some of these cards. Because on Beckett.com, it does have some of that. Um, okay. Let's see here. Oh my. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I appreciate your patience. Um, let me check one more place. Appreciate you bearing with me here for a second. Wow, okay. Um, all right, so we'll get into that here in a minute. So let's start with our Project 70. Um, I'm kind of picking and choosing which of these I like. Basically, it depends if it's a player, a favorite player or not. Um, there's an artist. I like crap, and I'm pull, not pulling her name right now, but she does beautiful work. I haven't gotten all her cards, but I've gotten a few. Um just phenomenal looking cards but then I'm also picking cards that I just enjoy because they're players I like and the card looks cool if I can get it out of the I'm just going to go ahead and tear, tear the bubble I know that's not very good use of supplies because I tend to like to reuse the bubble wrapping I was using that little extra tape so that's what we have here tonight in our project 70 alright Cal Ripken, Project 70. This is not a numbered parallel, but still a very nice looking card. Let's get this out. I just thought that was a cool looking card. I liked all the colorful, the colorful design. Um, just thought it was very, very nice. So let me get a stand out here. Um, I have to readjust it because these cases are a little thicker. There you go. Very, very cool. And I'm going to set that there. And let's see what our tops now is. This is going to be, um, I've been, again, selective with Cubs cards and specifically Anthony and Rizzo. The last um, tops now I got was when Rizzo was relieved, was serving as relief pitcher for the Cubbies when they played the Braves and were just getting hammered by the Braves. And he struck out Freddie Freeman and maintained his 0, 0.00 ERA. Um, and they made a Tops Now card out of it. I got a card numbered out of, I believe, 25 of Parallel. So um, I ordered 10 of them um, just because he's my favorite player and my PC. And so I wanted to get a few extras for the collection and see if I could maybe get a numbered Parallel. So we'll see what we have here. This is from um, the uh, a couple weeks ago. He, the Cubs played the Dodgers, and Tony, uh, Anthony. See, and I hate these 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 tear. Anthony Rizzo hit a walk off. Oh, we got another numbered. He hit a walk off hit completes the series sweep of the Dodgers. So we've got another numbered parallel here, folks. Uh, I ordered five of this card. So let's see what we have I decided not to do 10 like last time but um, one of the things I was looking up this car, each one of these tops now cards they're only available for about a day on the tops website and so the print runs can be they have a varying print run this is card number 176 and it looks like this print run is 590 or 579 so they only made 579 of this card um, so that in, in and of itself is pretty 
a lo pretty low count. So we've got 18 of 25. Oh! Ho! Oh. What? In the world? 9 of 10. Oh my goodness. That's freaking amazing. Holy crap. And then it looks like three regular bases. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. That is amazing. Nine of 10, this is a red variation. What, an 18 of 25. Wow, that's sick. <laughs> I am doing well with these Tops Now cards. Um, I've got some of the, uh, I, I decided to continue getting a few of the S Sports Illustrated, being a little bit more selective of which of those I'm getting. I, there was an Ernie Banks cover of the Sports Illustrated Tops cards, and I ordered a bunch of those, or, you know, like five or ten of those as well. We'll, we'll see if we continue our luck. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. Okay. So let's kind of roll down. This is actually, for considering only three pieces of mail, this is a longer video than I expected. So we've got the two Anthony Rizzos. We got the from 2018 Chronicles, the Spectra, pink numbered. The Artist Palettes from this year's Diamond Kings, uh, numbered out of 99. Then the Cal Ripken Project 70. And the Anthony Rizzo Project now is, I mean, there's only, like I said, there's only 579 of that card. And then I pulled a 18 of 25 and a numbered one out of 10. Holy cow, that's pretty amazing. Let me know, which of those was your favorite? <laughs> was it the Ripken or was it one of the Rizzos? That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. I may have to one-touch some of those. Yeah, let me know what your favorite is. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumb up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Again, hope you're having a great Memorial Day. Hope you're having, being a, having a safe time and just enjoying um, time with family and friends or whatever you're doing. So without further ado, we'll just say be good to each other, be kind to each other, care for each other, and love each other. And we'll see you next time here at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Take care, everybody.